the ultimate testing range. Sub-level 1. I'm scared. We have some caustic dweevils that are for some reason blue. I don't understand that. Also, ah, I made the mistake again. No. <laughs> I, I brought 100 Pikmin in so that they can't, now they can't give me any more except through candy pop buds. That's awful. Okay. You know, when we first, when we, I first read the, the bio on caustic dweevils, I expressed my confusion as to why they're blue now. Like, I don't care, but it's, it's weird. And here's the thing, and I, I saw a couple of you, or one of you didn't catch this. Um, when you first, when you first get, uh, ice Pikmin, or not ice, blue Pikmin in, um, in Pikmin 2, there's a special cutscene. And in that cutscene, uh, the white Pikmin acts really excited, and then it coughs. Okay, so it's showing its quickness, and it also shows that it's poisonous and immune to poison, and it emits poison. And automatically, white Pikmin will find a buried treasure, which then talks about their... Okay, he's not a scutter truck. I, I was kind of treating him like he was. Uh, which shows their, like hidden ability that they can uh, that they're immune to um, or that they can see underground sorry and let's whistle them please kill him and don't fall off but here's the thing with, with their design is their eyes are the same color of the poison they are immune to did I just lose one no we're fine that's part that's intentional. Yes, they can see underground, and they are also immune to poison. So the red eyes make sense as this cave-dwelling Pikmin, but it also makes sense as this, like... Takes 20. Okay. And... <clears throat> it really doesn't make sense, and I really want to know. I really want to know why they changed the, the color of poison in this game. It's very weird. Like, what drives that? Is it because pink Pikmin exist, and so they don't want them to clash? I, I don't know. It's very odd. I've never seen a change that looks to be more pointless, but because it's so pointless, it, you, have to, you have to know that there is a reasoning behind it. They didn't just do it on a whim. Especially when there are so many of these caves that are just derivative of each other, you know? Like, they're all... Like, so many of these caves are just rip-offs or, or homages to previous Pikmin games. What are they having trouble with? I don't think you're having trouble with anything. And... Where? Oh. Something we need to build. And we do need to build it! We do need to build it. Good job, guys. Repathing how you're supposed to go. We are supposed to build it because we need that for 100% completion. And I should be going back. I keep forgetting to go back to uh, the one cave that I I didn't I didn't build that one bridge on. Okay, uh, that, that's how we go down. This is not going to move till I get on it. And really, I, I I should make a habit of being on Ochi every single time I'm on one of these platforms, because falling, I still don't know what it does. I, I asked you guys not to tell me, but you told me that it was very bad, so I'm only going to assume that I would lose everything and maybe get a game over. I will try it at some point. Like, there will be, like, an after game where I, I try stuff that I, I, I see, but I don't want to destroy my run. Okay. Like, I'm curious as well. What happens if we get a Pikmin extinction? Because in previous games... We, if we lost all of our... I guess white Pikmin are a bad example. Uh, if we lost all of our blue Pikmin, we'd spit out another blue. But what happens if I lose all my ice Pikmin when I don't have an ice onion? That's very weird, you know? It's like an edge case. I, I know that some caves would be able to supply me, but some might not.
Sub-level 2. Now, I know what the boss is. Okay, we have another White Onion. Withering Blowhog. Don't like seeing that. Okay. Let's do the Blowhog last. Ochi, cheese him for me, please. Thank you. Um, I can jump down there. In fact, I think I will. Do I? I could jump down there. Let's do it. We do that. Jump! Throw away my yellows. Um, swarm my pinks on that. That just makes sense. Because they can avoid all the trouble, all the dangers. Oh, they would have taken that anyway. Never mind. Uh, that was pointless of me. I hear Pikmin screaming, and it, when it's not a sound effect I'm familiar with, I'll, uh, pink Pikmin because they have different sounds. It always freaks me out. Like, earlier in this very cave, we had the, the Pikmin that were circling around, and... Oh, I need Ochi. Ochi, come on, buddy. Shake it off. Move. Ochi, honey, honey. Flip him off. And kill him. Save. Uh, we can get that. I didn't mean to send all my Pikmin there. I didn't think that through. Where is that sending me? You know what would be really funny? <laughs> and they totally... Oh, battery. Oh, I need flying Pikmin for that. They totally would have done this in Pikmin 2. They would have definitely, 100% made these geysers that send Pikmin into death in Pikmin 2. Like, that is 100% something that they would do. Uh, I need more flying Pikmin. Uh, Idler's Alarm is up on the D-pad? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll send you guys on that. Send you guys on that. I will send you guys on that. Okay, I'm gonna whistle these Pikmin. Okay. Ah, uh, got my yeah, my pinks. You guys carry that, and then fly bla back. That's not what I wanted to do. Pluck. On on the subject of Pikmin making noise, one thing I feel, and yeah, I know I just talked about unfamiliar Pikmin noises, but bear with me. I have on my computer, and I use it for some episodes. I use it for some episodes. Um, every Pikmin sound bite in from two, and I I use it a lot for various notifications, various whatever, like whenever I put text on screen. Um, but one thing I've noticed is that it feels like a lot of those sound effects just aren't in this game. There's a, it, it's like there's there's a little bit less personality in Pikmin 4's Pikmin than there are than there is in other Pikmin games. And here's case in point, case in point. I'm going to zoom in as close as I can get. I'm going to hold a Pikmin. There's little to no sound. You there's no there's no expression of of anticipation. And I feel like a lot of the the Pikmin's idle animations aren't as good either anymore. It's kind of sad. Like, now, granted, there was the little there's the little troop they did earlier, which was really sick. I, I did like that a lot when they were like dancing around Ochi. That was sweet. That's that's kind of what I, I'm looking for, you know. Go go go! Kill him! I'm gonna swarm flying Pikmin on him because I do not want to. Uh oh! Whoa! Is that a fiery withering blowhog? That is a fiery, withering blowhog. That's insane. Does he even have any different markings? He doesn't look like it. Like, those are the normal... I guess the, the coloring is slightly fire-like, but there's very little to distinguish him. So we've had... We have had ice blowhogs, but now we've had fiery, withering blowhogs. Huh. Okay. Uh, I get that. We're gonna clean up the trash, why not? It's here. We're gonna get a bunch of flying Pikmin too, which is gonna be nice. We, Hopefully we can get more whites than we have. Oh, it's a Joy-Con! 
That's neat. Have we gotten a Joy-Con before? Because if not, uh oh, uh, no. Whistle them back. Swarm them. Or throw them, I guess, okay. I guess that's fair, considering in, uh, in Pikmin, in Pikmin 3, and it feels like a lot of the abuse cases of pinks are gone. Like, I, I'm kind of okay with them now, even though blues, you know, I don't like... Yeah, no, they're, they're fine. They're fine. Because, uh, honestly, Blue's identity crisis has kind of been fixed. Um, they can. There's a lot of deep water segments that Pinks would be useless in. Also, the fact that we don't get um, these, these Pikmin's onions till much later rectifies it as well. Because when you can only take out three Pikmin types, and that's, I guess, the one benefit to it, when you can only take out three Pikmin types, it's, it's very palatable because... Yeah, I could take out my 10 pinks, but I'm gonna have to take out 35 of the other two types, right? As opposed to all the 200 blues I have. It's it's very limiting in that regard, and it kind of self-balances it at the cost of these exotic Pikmin types just not being incentivized as much. And almost feeling bad because you don't have that many of them. Twenty-five thousand five hundred and fifty-five sparkly, and that's that's special. But yeah, it's it's kind of weird because if I want to take out a squad of, I'm kind of surprised we aren't seeing a Gatling Groink. Okay, if I want to take out a squad of purples, rocks, and white Pikmin, I can do it, but I'm only going to be able to take out half my max, and that's very strange. But that's also, I guess, the learning curve, and there might be t a time soon, very soon, where we get enough onions where we can do that now. And maybe that's why they do it, because they're like, these Pikmin are either really strong, as I knock my headphones off of my head, they're either very strong compared to the average, or they're hard to use. And so we want to limit you in that until you're ready. Um, so I can use this, and then I'm actually going to be isolated from my base. So I want to have all my Pikmin available to me when I do, when I make this jump. I'm also going to have to fight that, that Puffy Blowhog immediately. And I need to remember that Ochi can attack the air now. And these Pikmin te can attack the air. And immediately, did I throw one away? No, I'm good. I'm so paranoid about that. Okay, not difficult at all. You deal with that. We've learned that Ochi should handle the bubbles. Ochi is the resident bubbler, bubble burster? Okay, he's dead. We're gonna take the little bits of plastic because it takes one Pikmin, which no one cares if one Pikmin is out of the squad. And the reward is we start nickel and diming in a good way. Okay, we can't get over there, right? We are gonna have to go all the way around. Oop, is that... That one's pink. We're gonna get over to that. So we're gonna take this little causeway here. Swarm. These guys are very dangerous. In caves. I'm just gonna let them do their thing. Uh, you do that. You're fast. Cool. Okay. And you guys carry the plastic, the rest of the plastic. Thank you. We have the pink sword now. I think that might, those might be the last of the, the plastic sword cycle. The, uh, like, olive toothpick cycle, which I, I love. I love how the different interpretations of how these are, like, legendary items of yore. Uh, no new enemies. We're fine. Carefully walk. That's the scary thing about this man. All my eggs are in one basket. If I fall, I'm done. Gonna run to dry land. Get off. And Ochi, you deal with the bubbles. That's how we progress. Slowly but surely, I'm replacing all of my my yellows with with uh, pinks. And I'm fine with that. It's it's nice to finally get an ex. That! <laughs> that is why I worry. <laughs> okay, I'm not crazy. I'm justified. 
Uh. <laughs> Run. Hello, sir. Good. Just gonna kite. Hold my Pikmin. Shake him off. Do it. You almost fell off. There. That's how you do it. That's how you do it in Pikmin. You just, you throw some Pikmin, but not all of them. You wait. Then you throw more Pikmin. Okay, we can get down there. It kind of blocks the path in a weird way. That's how you Pikmin. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Oh, there's the castaway. How do you get up there? Buddy, you like fall in there from above? It's very odd. Um, you're gonna get the, you're gonna get the aerial treatment. Go. Fly. Good job. Okay. Where are we going? Go right and f jump. We can also do this. Can I swarm this from above so I don't have to deal with it? I'm worried about this. Okay, that's fine. That should be enough. Exactly enough. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. Okay, uh... We can go down there, but why? We've been on the platform. I think we just wait. I don't know why we get a cutscene for this. I, it, it doesn't make sense. No, you're not going to get lucky. It's the same thing every time. Why do we need to repeat this? <laughs> See? <laughs> this is exactly what I'm talking about. Can you just not do it anymore? Wait, did you guys go? You guys can fly. Wait, you... What? Is that even faster? <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay. That was... All right. Whatever. Is that... That's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Final floor? Probably. I'd assume. With my squad of bees.